Good morning everybody from the beautiful and sunny city of Los Angeles. Today we got some blue skies and it's gonna be hot as hell. And I swear to God, this is like my fifth try at this video. There's like so much I wanna say, but getting it done right is, is for some odd reason so hard. I should probably have a list. Um, but let's do this in story mode. So the last three months, I've been working my ass off um, to fight my depression because I've been suffering from it from, I don't know, like seven years or something like that. And I've fallen into some deep dark holes. And so like the last three months has been an absolute nightmare for me because I'm fighting to get out of it, trying to get out of the hole. And uh, it's a lot harder to try and get out of it than it is to like just let yourself fall into it. And those of my friends who are out there suffering from depression know exactly what I'm talking about. And the ones who have gotten out of depression know even better. Um, but yeah, for me it seemed like uh, the last three months have been two steps forward, three steps back. Uh, mainly because that's my depression talking and since I've been expending so much energy trying to get out of it, um, the energy to fight uh, the feelings that it brings up um, has dropped a lot. But um, I've started to institute a lot of new pol not policies, but different things for myself. Like I said, the last three months have been very difficult. It's because I've refused to let myself believe the negative voice in my head, as hard as it seems. Um, like there's been a lot of days where I've been pushing myself way too hard with the art and all this jazz and so I wake up and I'm just like depressed as fuck just like it's a bad day like nothing is right everything is wrong like I'll never be an artist I'll never be creative I'm horrible um, but it's just you just I've just ignored it like what I've decided to do and what I've tried to do and what I want to tell other people to do um, is to ignore that and I know it's impossible and it's hard to impossible to ignore it completely but it's like um, you have to set your light, your eyes externally. Like you can't look at yourself for any of like the feedback, uh, because you're going to be lying to yourself. It's not your fault you're lying to yourself. It's because you're depressed. Um, the feedback you need to look out. You need to look out to the people around you because, like I've always said, that I don't have friends. I don't have a community. I don't have this or that. But it's like in these last three months when I've just been ignoring the voice and trying to reach out and trying to do and trying to move forward, even though it feels like I'm moving three steps back with every two forward. It's like I am moving forward and like um, I think I said in this video that was last night I was just at a friend's barber shop down the street from my coffee shop it was like out there m until midnight or something like that chilling and smoking and, and I was sketching while a couple of the guys were getting tattooed and some of them were doing like fades on the hair because they're barbers and stuff so like a whole huge night of creativity and like I thought to myself like this how the fuck did this happen like this doesn't seem real. It seems like something out of a movie. And it's like the kind of life that I've wanted to live and all this other stuff. And it's like I never thought I'd be able to because, you know, the depression had me by the balls. And it's like these last three months I've been teaching myself to look more and more externally for um, signs that things are going better. And um, yeah, like last night was a big sign for that. And that's why I wanted to do this message is that it may not feel like you're getting out of it if you're actually trying to recover. Um, but you are. Um, and it might not be the same process with everybody or anything like that. Like, you might feel like you are getting out of it, but then you'll hit a bad day and you'll be like, oh shit, no I'm not. And it's just like, you just gotta keep at it. Um, and I know this message, this vlog is all back and forth, up and down, but the big things that I wanted to hit on is that um, if you're depressed and you want to get out of it, you really gotta work hard to, to try and move out of it. And you gotta look externally for what's going on. Um, to realize that everything is not as bad as you think it is um, and to ignore that voice in your head and to just trust in the people around you and the tr <laughs> believe in the people who believe in you basically um, and then just the trust in the process because it's like you know some people take the medication route some people take the self-therapy route some people it's like everybody takes different routes but um, it's a fucking process and it's hard and it's like grueling and it's just like you just hate every minute of it because like it's so much easier just to be depressed and wallow in it but it's like you know if you work at it something will happen um, that's I think the rule with the universe is the more you work at something the more that something will happen even if you don't think it is because everything is a build up uh, baby steps baby steps baby steps and I'm about to have a car go by so I probably should get going before they think I'm really straight <laughs> so um, once again, for all of my friends out there who are suffering from nasty depression, remember to push past that voice inside of your head, say fuck it and just do it. Um, use other people as your sounding board for your like what's actually going on and pay attention to the results of the world, not the voice, the interpreting voice of your head what thinks that, that's telling you what it thinks about the world and uh, just trust in the process because before you know it, you'll be in a place where you want to be, like where you wanted to be. but. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's your head takes a little bit longer to get there, like 
if you, one thing's in place, the second thing will fall in place. And if you're where you want to be, eventually your head will fall into where it wants to be as well. So I hope everybody's having a great week. It's Wednesday here. I've got a hell of a lot of stressful projects going on. So I'm going to go use my energy and devote that to that. So hope you all have a great day.